doesn't seem to be all that deep. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's right on the surface, actually. There we go. Let's see, uh, latch off of an old trunk or something like that. All right, first target, let's keep going. So I just got a really broken signal here. I think it was reading 87 and jumping up into the 90s and just kind of bouncing all over the place, but it was giving a high tone. So it is, I decided to dig it. Check out what just came out. That's an old bayonet. Awesome. I think that's the first, I know that's the first one of those I've ever dug. All right. Mike just called me over. He says he's got silver. What you got there? Is that silver? Oh yeah, that's definitely silver. What is it? Like a Merc? Big thing. Yeah, it rained up 25. Reading a little low because it's so worn. Think so? Yeah, maybe it's that 1916D. It is 1916. Is it? Mm -hmm. See if it's got a D mint mark on the back. See it? I can't see without my glasses. Hang on, let me dig them out. I got some here. Hey, that dang sure is. If that's got a D on the back, it's worth some money. All right, so I just got a 63 on the dais and turned out to be a silver war nickel. You can see the P mint mark on the back there. I don't know what the date is yet. So Mike's got a good Indian head signal right here. We'll watch him live dig it. Reading 85 on mine. What was it hitting on yours? 19. Yeah, that's about the right range. What is that? Dog tag? Looks like. Might be an old one. Right there, just got a soft sounding 81 signal on the dais and popped out a musket ball. Really like this machine, how you can really hear on uh, rounded objects the soft edges on it. A lot of nuanced tones. All right. Bouncing 82 to 84. I think that's Indian range. Alright, let me dig it out and I'll show you what it is. Okay, that one turned out to be a flattened musket ball. A 94 but it's double beeping like it does on a small piece of wire we'll give it a look got a feeling this might be a piece of wire either gonna be a little piece of wire or a piece of silver I think it's going to be a piece of wire. Well, maybe not. No, it's not. I was fooled on that one. That's going to be a silver dime. It's going to be a mercury. Get my glasses out. I can't see the date. 
All right, so I just got the mercury dime right over there, and here I have another good signal. That one's reading 98.99. Now, I don't know where quarters would fall on the dais, but I'm guessing they'd read pretty high. So, possible quarter here. There it is, whatever it is. That is not a quarter, it is a watch. Can't tell what kind it is. Yep, that is an old watch.